What's up, everybody? Pretty happy, pretty excited. Something awesome just came in. We're gonna do an unboxing on it. I had to open it up to check it out at the gun shop, but uh, let's see it right there. So we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna go over everything that it came with and my first impression on it. This is the Panzer Arms BP-12 Gen 2. It's the bullpup shotgun. Uh, so let's take a look at her. Got it in desert tan. Uh, now this here is supposed to be able, the charging handle is supposed to be able to remove to be put on the other side. It's supposed to be ambidextrous, I believe, but um, I haven't really, I haven't played with it to check it out and see. Um, came with two five round magazines. Nice and greased up. Just nice mags right there. So there's two mags, boxes right there. Uh, it also came with two extra chokes. Now, one of the chokes that it came with is uh, super rusted. I've already emailed them about that. But if you look there, that particular choke there is rusted. Uh, so I'm hoping that they will make that right and replace that with a new choke. Uh, the other choke is already in there, I believe. Uh, yes, choke. one choke is already inserted. I think came with a full choke, a modified choke and a uh, half choke, I believe. Now let's pull it out. It's a lot lighter than I expected, to be honest with you. So let's close the box real quick and just take a look at the gun itself. It's got a cheek pad here to where it's adjustable. You can pull this up and down uh, to adjust for your cheeks. It's got your safe and fire here. That's gonna be worked in. Um, the only thing is right there, if you have a big finger, that will get on that trigger finger. If your finger is, you know, a lot bigger than mine, which I do have some pretty small fingers. Uh, let's see what else we got here. It's the mag release. It's amid, well, ambidextrous mag release, both sides. And then you have your slide release, which is right there. But, you know, you can also just release it on yourself. Slide loss locker down. So if you just wanted to release it yourself uh, without hitting that slider release, you just pull it back and what's called that ambidextrous. So let's take this magazine out and shove a mag in it real quick and see how it locks in and slides out. Oh, that's nice. Let's see how it slides out. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so the magazine can go in and out very well. Now, uh, let's see what else we got here. Also comes with a foregrip already on it, a barrel shroud. I love the, uh, that shoulder rest right there, that's nice. It's supposed to come up and down. My first time using this. Oh, so that's a takedown pin. Hmm. Anyways, I'll figure that out later. But that cheek cheek guard goes up and down. Let's see what else is in the box real quick. Oh yeah, and uh, let's see that does come out for Annie's. And it slides right in on the other side, so that way it's left-handed, ready to go. But I am right-handed, so I'll put this on the right-hand side. Boom, right back in. Just got to figure out how to slide this uh, cheek guard up and down. That's my next, my next thing. We got to loosen up a lot loose to see. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure that one out later. All right, let's check out what else is in the box. Uh, owner's manual. Some wrapping. We have a cleaning kit. That's nice. 
nice nylon brush, nice big long cleaning rods that are coated with plastic or rubber so that way you don't scrape the barrel. Um, looks like they're kind of cheaply made, but I have a nice cleaning rod anyways. Okay, oh yeah, some important features here. Not 100% what extra that is. I'll have to look into that. But we have your armor's wrench, your barrel, your barrel nut wrench. You actually have two of them. Huh. That's cool. I wasn't expecting to come with two. But yeah, Panzer arms, barrel take down wrench, barrel nut wrench. This goes to the barrel. I don't know what the heck that's for. Anyways, here's the sights. Comes with front and rear flip up sights. We'll be installing them. Very nice. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So, first impressions, very nice. The uh, the handle here, the grip is very soft. It's it's not not real stiff. It's got a little rubberized coating on it here. Uh, do a lot of looking into all this. I think you could change hey. something out here, but I'm not real sure. Anyways, yeah, that's. Awesome shot gun. They say you gotta break it in, but it doesn't seem that stiff. I've got some double lock buck shot coming, and uh, we're gonna put some rounds to that this bad boy when I get it. So these are the takedown pins. Right there. I say it might need a little bit of lube. Anyhow. Oh yeah, you got two uh the upper receiver's gotta come off of there. The cheek I'm sorry, the cheek guard's gotta come off. Once that cheek guard comes off, you can slide this whole upper receiver off. But those are the take down pins. Put them back in there. So Panzer BP12. Very awesome looking gun. I love it. Already. Already got some junk on it. So, yep. Pick these up uh, online. They're almost sold out everywhere. I'm not going to tell you where I got it. Uh, if you'll have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down there. And uh, if y'all want to know where I got it from, shoot me a thumbs up. And shoot me a comment. And I will probably tell you where I got it from. So, real hard fishing out. Yeah. Here, Brian, uh, Panzer BP-12, uh, we're going to do the test fire. All right, we're on safe. We're about to be hot right now. We're on hot. Sights up. Let's see. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, that was only three rounds in there? Yep. Oh, I thought I had the five round mag in there. Well, let's put it back on safety. Oh no. What happened there? That wasn't cool, huh? Gotta be. Let's try that again. It didn't eject. Oh. It didn't me tell me there. Bam. What was that? I wonder what happened there. Ooh. I mean, do recommend a break-in period, but hmm. All right, we're clear. I wonder why it didn't not uh, eject back. Slide should walk back. We gotta yeah. break this sucker in, but anyhow, first impression, I did not like the fact that one did not eject, but we're gonna break it in and see what happens. All right, so 
After shooting this, uh, I'm going to blame the malfunctions on the shells because the shells are very old. Um, and not to mention they do recommend a break-in period with this gun of at least a uh, 100 shells um, to break in the spring to make sure that there's no malfunctions, no jamming up, and no failures to eject. But I'm definitely going to blame that failure to eject on the shell because the shell's lips here, they do have some rust and stuff on them because they're really old. But then again, you know, it could have just been that it's not broken yet. So I'm gonna put some more rounds to it. Um, tomorrow, I get uh, another case of rounds. I just had, this is what I had laying around. I ordered 250 rounds of double out buckshot. So I'll be putting them through there tomorrow, but they're only 1200 feet per second. These were 1325 feet per second. And by the way, this is a high velocity gas piston uh, that you have to change out if you're going to be shooting anything over 1,350, 1350 feet per second with this firearm. Uh, the maximum loads they recommend with this firearm also is one and a half ounce, 1500 feet per second. So if you shoot anything over that, you're going to end up damaging something in the gun uh, over time and it's going to void your warranty. Uh, the minimum load is one and a quarter ounce, I think at 12, uh, 1200 feet per second, 1200 feet per second, and I believe that's what I have coming tomorrow. Um, oh yeah, here it is right here, it says it right here in the owner's manual, uh, let's see, let's flip through here real quick, and where it says loading shotgun, ammunition recommendations, uh, let's see, yep. Shotgun design lifetime standard loads from one ounce to one and a half ounce and 1250 feet per second to 1500 feet per second maximum. So the ones I got are 1200 feet per second. I hope they work. Anyways, very nice gun. I'm gonna break it in and then I'll do another review and see if there was any other malfunctions. Stick around. Subscribe.